Hello everyone, welcome back to the next video on Node.js tutorial for beginner course. And in the last video, we have discussed about the arrow function and how to migrate your old school function to the new ES6 arrow function. And in this video, we are going to talk about an object, how to access any values inside an object and how you can create a function inside an object. And so let's go ahead and create a new file. Let's name this as uh, objects.js. So when you say an object, you have to declare an object with a const keyword because I have explained the reason in the last video why you can or you must declare an object with const keyword. So if you haven't watched that video, you can go ahead and check that out. So let, let me create an object called person and object should start with curly braces and ends with curly braces and inside the object it may contain a key value pair or a function as well so let's say if, when you say person we should assign some name to this person and this name is a key you can give the value separated with this column let's name this person as Adam and we'll give the age as 25 or 35 let's greet him so greet is a method it's an we are going to use an arrow function saying that let's say hi this is this dot name okay so let's execute and see how it works to call a function inside the object you can use the object name dot followed by the function name let's execute that and see how it works so if you see here, you're getting high, this is undefined. Because this inside the arrow function has an access to the global node module, not the access to this object. So you have to be very careful when you're using a keyword this inside the arrow function. So to resolve or to fix this issue, you have to work around. Let me explain that. Either you can change this as a normal function and if you execute that one, you can see that hi, this is Adam. Or you have an other option. So you can delete the function along with a colon and you can define the function like this, greet function name. And inside the braces, you can explain the logic of the function. So if you see here, you're getting the same output. So this is how you can access the function inside the object. So let's see how to access the property inside the object. For example, let's say you want to access a name or age. You can do so in the same approach. You have to use object name followed by the property or field which we call it as a property or field and if you execute that you can see that it pulls the name adam from the object so this is a way of accessing the property inside an object so in case if you want to alter the property value inside the object Let's see how to do that. So it's very simple. You have to follow the same approach, person.name, but you can use the assignment operator to assign the new value to it. Let's say I'm changing the name from Adam to John. And if we execute that one, you can see that this property get, this name property get updated to John after this line of code. But before this line, you can see that it's still assigned to Adam. So 
first it arrow and comes to this line and JavaScript compiler update the person object name to John and that's why you are seeing the name John here in the 10th line. So this is a very basic JavaScript object but in the upcoming tutorial we are going to see how to create an object with some complex property and value. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.